Hello guys, here's a short update, um, part 3 of uh, this uh, muzzle, f muzzle flash tutorial series that I've been working on. Um, as you can see here now, I've actually added a bit of an extra effect to this muzzle flash and we've also added an audio file. So, um, I found a, a suitable sounding audio file and um, imported that to our project. So that just plays um, from the beginning as, as we fire, we're playing that audio file. Um, you can see if I play it in slow motion, we've added a few extra effects in. So what we've got here is um, some shockwaves which I created in um, motion. And I'm going to have a series of tutorials on those. But for now, if you just go over to my blog, you can actually download the, the motion files and you can also download the rendered out video files. So, um, pretty briefly, what we have in motion is I've made a, a bunch of different types of uh, explosions. Um, so I'll open one up here. So th this is the type of, type of thing that we created in motion. Um, so this is the, the, the muzzle flash um, type ring flash. So we're creating these in motion and then we're exporting them as a uh, normal QuickTime movie file and we're importing those then into our shockwave composition. Um, so if I just solo this, uh, you'll see what we actually have here is this type of laser sci-fi type effect. Um, so I bring that in as a movie and then I, I apply to here, then I've applied a bloom filter to make it um, glow. You see if we turn that off, it's, it's a little bit more flat, but I, I add that bloom filter and it just adds a glow to the uh, whole effect. I colorized it so from the white that we exported from motion um, I've, I've color mapped it to make it this blue color. Um, and that is basically it. Uh, I, I, I have a, um, a rotation uh, of, the, of the camera, uh, sorry, of the, of the object in, in three dimensions. Uh, it can be rotated around, so I rotated it to align up with our muzzle. And um, that really is it. So, I mean, you could see that effect, just, just that on its own with the distortion that we put on earlier. And, and, and that on its own, it, it, it's an okay effect. But as you can see, as we start to build these up and we add in additional parts to this effect, um, together with the muzzle flashes that we, we added in the previous tutorials, it begins to build up into quite a cool looking um, effect here. So just play around with it. Uh, go over to my blog and you can get from there the, um, uh, the various video files and the, the motion file. You can download it from there and uh, you'll be able to play around with this yourself. And in future tutorials, we'll, we'll be going on to uh, improving this even further just to give it uh, a real cool looking uh, finished effect. But I think you can see here from tutorial one through to three how this has progressed, um, how we've um, developed this. Um, and uh, I think it's really starting to, to come together nicely. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.